So uh, Elmore James, again, this is a tune called Done Somebody Wrong, also recorded on live at the Fillmore East uh, by the Allman Brothers Band, and also a song I played countless times with Greg Allman and uh, our band, the Greg Allman Band. So uh, basically, you know, the whole intro bit, the sort of like stop time thing, the dun, dun with the space, that's exactly the way it is on the Elmore James record. And uh, Dwayne Allman plays pretty close to note for note what Elmore played there. And I'm doing my best. I'm playing in standard tuning again. We're in the key of C this time. So basically I'm working off <laughs> all the same stuff I went over in the key of D, but just drop down a whole step to C is basically what uh, I've been doing on this song. Um, I did add a couple extra bits here and there, of course. Um, and basically what I was doing improvisation-wise over this vamp is um, kind of combining, you know, pretty much playing it the way I played it with Greg, you know, playing kind of all my different influences and uh, approaches with slide and just kind of improvising in these different positions. So the basic positions are like the eighth fret. <laughs> And, you know, I I find that a lot of people, when they play slide, they forget to slide, me included, as a matter of fact. Sometimes I have to remind myself, slow down, you're supposed to slide when you play with the slide and let the slide do the work. So, so that whole intro and this play-along track is a little fast. It's it's a few clicks too fast. It's, it's almost, you know, on the edge of, of not grooving. It's pretty close, but... It's, uh, you know, so you can hear how there's all those little quarter half step things that go on. And then another thing I do, at least playing in standards, I kind of accent off of the fifth. So I kind of get those little, and that's kind of imitating that sound that harmonica players get when they're playing the bullet mic through an amp. Where they get that that kind of percussive percussive like uh, bassy sound that kind of punctuates. That's kind of what I'm thinking about when I do that. It doesn't really have any harmonic quality. Again, there's another one. That's a cool phrase to kind of like not pick again, right? Use it. You know, kind of let it fade out. Again, don't forget to slide. Don't forget to let the slide do the work, and you can find some interesting things. So that's basically the intro. And then I was playing some things up top. You know, you can work off of that blues scale and the flatted fifth in C and the extended patterns here. And then going up, playing the same shit you'd play here. But up here. And that's sort of a note that's kind of off the fretboard, of course. I tend, when I'm playing slide, a lot of times I use a Harmony Bobcat, which is a really incredible cheap guitar uh, that sounds ridiculous with slide. And with that, I raise the action up a little bit, and it's really easy to get to those higher notes. I haven't quite figured out how to do that as well on this guitar, but... So... That kind of run that I was doing, I'm basically going through. It's a blues scale, you know. So. And I, I think those note combinations, it sounds kind of like a, I'm kind of going for something that sounds like a cross between a pedal steel guitar which of course is in a very strange tuning, and a, a, a harmonica, like a Chicago blues style harmonica. So you get the. 